On our last video, we learned that pure substances can be classified as elements or compounds, and we also learned their properties. In this video, we are going to find out what are mixtures. Agamazing! Kumusta ka? Ito si Sir Bas ng Sir Bas TV. Ako ang makakasama mo sa pagtuklas ng mga kaalaman tungkol sa agham o science. Aalamin natin ang mga iba't ibang konsepto na may kinalaman sa matter, living things and their environment, force, motion and energy, at earth and space. Handa ka na bang maging agamazing? Kung oo, kunin na ang iyong ballpen at papel at sama-sama tayong maging agamazing. By the way, kung hindi ka pala kapag-subscribe sa aking channel, i-click lamang ang subscribe button at notification bell para maging updated ka sa mga susunod kong uploads. I-like and share na rin ang video nito. In contrast to pure substances, mixtures are made of non-identical particles. Halimbawa na mixture ay ang salt water solution. Bakit ito tinawag na mixture? Dahil ang salt solution ay gawa sa non-identical particles. Para makagawa tayo ng salt solution, kailangan natin ng tubig at asin. Kapag tinignan natin ang composition nila, ang tubig o water ay made of hydrogen and oxygen. On the other hand, ang asin naman ay made of sodium and chlorine. Therefore, ang composition ng salt solution ay magkaiba or made of two types of substances which are salt and water. Therefore, ang salt solution ay example ng mixture. Halimbawa pa ng mga mixtures ay halo-halo, fruit salad, at milk tea. Unlike pure substances, mixtures are made of two or more substances that are not chemically combined. They are combined physically and the substances combined together retain their original properties. Sa pinagsamang asin at tubig, nagbago man ang physical properties ng asin nung hinalo ito sa tubig, still ang chemical properties nito ay the same pa rin. Ang asin ay asin pa rin at ang tubig ay tubig pa rin. No new substances are formed since substances do not react chemically. Their properties remain the same. Since mixtures are made of two or more substances, they do not have definite set of properties. They come in different proportions and they do not have a fixed ratio. Ito ay nakadepende sa taong gumagawa ng mixtures. Halimbawa na lamang kung gumagawa ka ng kape. Pwedeng mas madaming kape ang iyong ilalagay o kaya naman ay pwedeng mas madaming asukal depende sa iyong panlasa. They don't have fixed melting point and boiling point. Ang boiling point at melting point ng mga mixtures ay nakadepende sa properties ng mga substances na pinagsama. Another difference between pure substances and mixtures is that mixtures can be separated physically. Kung gusto mong paghiwalayin ang mix nuts na kinakain mo, pwede mo itong gawin gamit ang iyong mga kamay. Ito ay tinatawag na manual picking. E ang pinaghalong salt and water, paano mo ito paghiwalayin? Aalamin natin yan sa mga susunod na science tutorial. When we say mixtures, it does not only involve solid and liquid like salt and water. Mixtures can be also a combination of solid and solid mixtures like alloys. Alloys are combination of metals. Liquid and liquid like vinegar which is a combination of water and acetic acid. Gas and gas like the air we breathe in which is a combination of different gas like nitrogen, oxygen, and other gases. And it can be also a combination of liquid and gas like the soft drinks that we drink which is a combination of water, carbon dioxide, and other ingredients. In summary, ito ang pinakaiba ng substances at mixtures. Pure substances are made of identical particles. They have definite set of properties. All particles of a pure substance are the same throughout. 
compounds are made of atoms of two or more elements that are combined chemically, they cannot be separated by physical means, they have fixed melting point and boiling point, and on the other hand, mixtures are made of non-identical particles, they don't have definite set of properties, they are made of two or more substances that are combined physically, they can be separated by physical means and they do not have fixed melting point and boiling point. At yun na nga ang pinagkaiba ng pure substances at mixtures. Sa susunod na video ay ating aalamin ang pinagkaiba ng homogeneous mixture at heterogeneous mixture. Subukang gawin ang activity na ito para malaman ang iyong mga natutunan. I-comment ang iyong scores sa baba. Maraming salamat! Ag-amazing!